In part one of this course, I want to give you some information to start to kind of lay the foundations, lay the groundwork um, of what you need to know about posture. And not from some kind of theoretical point of view, but from a practical point of view, so that you can use this information to get the goals that you want. Again, whether those goals are becoming pain-free or changing the way you look. The first thing we need to get clear on is what good posture actually means. Basically, having good posture just means that your body, from a structural point of view, is in balance. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at this image here, instinctively, if you look at the front view and the side view, you know that this person's body is in balance and it's in alignment. So if you look at the front view, all the major joints, the ankles, the knees, the hips and the shoulders, are lined up and stacked up nicely at right angles and the head is firmly in the middle. So you can see it's very symmetrical. And remember, symmetry equals stability, really important. If we look at the side view, again, the major joints are all lined up, right? The ankle, the knee, the hip, the shoulder, and the head. And we have this beautiful S curvature through the spine, made up of three curvatures, the cervical curve, the thoracic curve, and the lumbar curve. These are really important. Some people worry about kind of the curvatures in the spine. Completely normal, but it's gotta be at the right level. We don't want an S excessive curvature, say for example in the thoracic spine here, or reduced curvature through here in the lumbar spine, etc. If you stand up and you relax and you naturally look similar to those two images, that tells me that your body's in balance, it's stable, you feel strong, and your body's working efficiently every time you walk or do some kind of activity, and therefore you're more likely to be pain-free. Now I'm not saying you need to be in that aligned position for eight hours a day. Good posture doesn't mean that you're rigid. Remember, the body's designed to move, to walk, to adopt a variety of positions. But if you stand up and you look and you relax and you look different from those two images, that shows me what imbalances you have. And those imbalances are gonna be carried forward when you sit, when you bend down to pick up a pen, when you walk, when you play a sport. And over the years, that leads to excess wear and tear and strains and compensations and thus pain. So to summarize, good posture just means that your body is structurally in balance. And a good way for us to test that is to get you to stand up. And if you stand up and relax, we want to see that all your joints are lined up horizontally and vertically and symmetrical. And we want to see that from the front view and the side view. So that's what good posture is. The next question we need to ask is what controls our posture? Now I could go into a huge amount of complexity about different parts of the nervous system and your brain and different tissues in your body. But I want to keep this course a little bit more simple than that. Um, and also I want to keep it really practical so you can use this information. So we're going to say that what controls your posture is the balance of your muscles. So for example, the only reason that these joints are stacked up nicely and are symmetrical is because the muscles are in balance from the right hand side of the body to the left hand side of the body and from the posterior, the back side of the body to the front, the anterior side of the body. So for example, these two buttock muscles, these gluteal muscles, they're working together, they're in balance. The abdominal muscles, the muscles on either side of the spine and the same thing throughout the body. Now, if these muscles went out of balance, what would happen? we would end up with some kind of postural misalignment. Perhaps from the side view, the head would go forward, um, or the hips would go forward, or the shoulder would go forward, or the curvature through the spine would change. It would either increase or decrease, etc. And from the front view, perhaps one hip goes higher than the other, one shoulder, or some kind of weird combination of, um, of all of them, right? So you can see that muscles are key. Bones, they just do what the muscles tell them to do, right? If you took all my muscles away right now, I would collapse to the ground. So why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you this because if you want to improve your posture, what do you need to do? You need to get your muscles back into balance from front to back and from left to right. Now to do that, we first need to ask why do those muscles go out of balance in the first place? Well, put simply, it's because nowadays we just don't use our bodies the way they were ever designed to be used. If you think about it, our bodies were designed, they were built to survive in an environment, a world thousands of years ago very different to the world we live in now. Back then, we would have walked miles every day to get food. We would have ran from big scary animals, or maybe some small, small scary animals too. Um, we would have built our own houses, our shelter, made fire, tools, etc. We would have used our bodies in a variety of ways every single day and from a very young age. And that would have kept everything, all those muscles in balance, and thus our posture nice and strong. Does that happen nowadays? Absolutely not, right? From a very young age at school, even if we're very active, we sit behind a desk for five, six, seven, eight hours a day listening to the teacher or doing homework. We use computers, phones, 
TVs, sofas, planes, trains. We have appliances that do so much for us now. We don't wash our own clothes, we have washing machines, dishwashers, electric toothbrushes, uh, remote controls, we don't have to get up, bicycles, cars, etc. So we just live in a world from a very young age where we don't get enough movement or variety of movement to keep those muscles in balance. And again, because those muscles position our joints and thus our posture, our posture goes out of alignment. So let's recap quickly because we've covered a lot. We've looked at what good posture actually means and it's about your body just being structurally in balance. Um, it's not about being rigid and the way that we test or see how imbalanced your posture is, is to get you standing up and see how symmetrical those joints are from the front and the side. We know that what controls that, what impacts that most, are the balance of your muscles from the front to the back and from the left to the right. And we know that those muscles go out of balance because nowadays from a very young age at school, we just don't use our bodies the way they were designed to be used. So the next question is, well, why should we care if our posture is no good? To find out the answer to that, check out the next video.